Ka tāke nā te Māori, ko te Māori tēne kā honua ki rungu e nei tauira. Ka tāu te Māori ki rungu e nei tauira. He tuku nō te whairu i roa ngā toro i rangi o tōna mānanga. Tēne te matatau ke e ke, whakatāre wa tū ke te rangi. Uhi, wero, tau mai te Māori, haumi e, hui e, tāi ki e. When you paddle a canoe, it's the closest thing to flying. To be on my lake that my ancestor Tia claimed and my ancestor Ngā Tororangi discovered is something I'm grateful for. I'm the 27th generation to Ngā Tororangi. He navigated the Tiarawa canoe, who all the Tiarawa tribes descend from. 800 years ago, he arrived in this area and I wanted to commemorate that. That's how it began. I saw this huge alcove, and it was like a voice called out. I saw an image of a tattooed face, and I decided I'd sculpt Ngā Toroirangi. I had to come up with a tattoo plan. I wanted to show this Te Arawa style of art, so that's a traditional art form, unchanged over the centuries. I did many sketch plans, but the main thing I had to come up with was how to put it onto the stone. So I had to clear all the rock face to make it level. So we had to clear it away all by hand then. I decided to use three tier scaffold and one piece of string with a weight on the end to give me a true line for the center. I use string line in different ways. I use horizontal, vertical, diagonal, and that's how I mapped out the drawing. So I had three sets of people working on three levels on the scaffold, and I could tell by the way people were tapping, I was like, hey, stop. I climbed down, no, 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 I want this angle, this, this angle, not that, this angle. That's how precision-minded I was, it, and I was representing my ancestor. As a descendant of Ngā Tūroirangi, I have to present him in perfection or don't do it at all. It wasn't cool to be Māori in the, in the 70s. No, no money, no support a lot of persecution, and the media started to vilify me. They were saying things like, um, get that scribbler off our rocks. It was a struggle surviving, but I had one purpose, and driven by one purpose, to bring this traditional art to the world. I, I never, ever thought it'd become an iconic tourist attraction. <laughs> For Māori, the centre of your being is called the Aho. I feel that with Ngā Tūroirangi, he's the centre of my whole essence. If you follow the centre line right up to the top of the tiki tiki or the top knot, and that's the celestial side of his being. Now the strand connects you to a centre here called the Mata Kite, or the third eye. That's the spiritual eye. That's the Aho connecting him to Mother Earth. The lip tattoo around here on Ngā Tūroirangi, we call that chevron Mata Kōkiri, the shooting star or comet. He is a descendant of the star god. The Kauai Raro is the terrestrial side of mankind. See under his chin? We call that the Hoki Oi. That's the, the eagle wing under his lip. He was supposed to fly from A to B. You see the design on his nose? That signifies his power of discernment. When you face my artwork, on the left is the Tainui bloodline, and then in the center you have Tia, who's my tribe's ancestor, Rauhoto. Then you got Tamati Kapua here, and all this here is Tufari Toa, Tsunga Toroirangi. So that's all you have to remember are, are these four great lineages making up who I am. If I was a tourist coming here, I would want them to understand how me and Māori would see that artwork and to appreciate our heritage. 
that they understand they're looking at an 800-year-old event. I just say soak it all in. If you feel connected, well, I'm happy about that. And if you're respectful to my culture, I'll be happy with that as well.